What's up guys, this is Matt from Shine On and today's video is all about the product personalizations feature. Personalizations is a feature of our product creator, which is available on some products being published to your Shopify store. This feature allows you to assign areas on your product design that your customer can freely edit, which enables your customers to design the products to include things like names, dates, or other text. This feature is currently only available on Shopify to a limited range of products, and it's also only available to Shopify subscription members. The feature allows for multiple text fields so customers can include multiple names, dates, or other information on the design, and an array of different font styles and formatting options for each text field to ensure that customers' results look in line with the design that you have created for your product. You're able to set the position of the text entry fields, the font size, the font style, and the customer can enter in their own details. So here's a quick example of what that looks like. I'm going to hop on over to my previously made uh, Shopify store. And here we have a two text entry fields on this product. When I enter in some words onto this design, it will update this field and you can clearly see that it's updated the information. I do it on both of these text entry fields and you can see that it's updated on the design. These text entry fields and all the settings to configure them up is what the personalization feature can enable. But before we jump in, I just want to cover some essential prerequisites for using the personalizations feature. As mentioned, this feature is only available to Shine On subscription members. So you need to make sure that you are a subscriber to one of the Shine On subscription tiers. This feature is also only compatible with the Shopify store and it requires the use of the Shine On product page. It is also compatible with the Shine On Fast product page if you are using that for your products. This feature is exclusive to our most recent product publisher so you need to make sure that you are using the current version of the product publisher and not the legacy version. This feature does also not work with the bulk uploader. Also worth mentioning that transparent designs are supported. Not all products in our catalog are supported just yet. We are expanding our offering for the product personalizer rapidly, so do check back. If you are checking on a product and you have uploaded your design and you do not see the personalizations feature appear, then that means that it's not supported on that feature yet. Do check back in a few days to a few weeks and see if it's been updated. So how do we use the product personalizations feature? When you are creating a product, you first upload your design. And then once you have uploaded your design and entered in the details, such as the title and a description, you will notice a third panel, which is called personalizations. This is where we configure this feature. To start, you will see a blank piece of artwork with a grid over it. And all we need to do is drag and drop an element onto the design and it will create it and expand the options available to us on the left. You can drag this around on your design and you can also resize it by using the resize nodes in each corner. By default, the snap to grid feature is turned on. However, if you would like to turn this off, there is a little toggle down at the bottom and now you can move your elements around on your design freeform. You would also notice that when you turn the snap to grid off, it removes the grid. So you can have a quick preview of what your design will look like in the end. However, leaving it turned on will allow you to place elements on your design nice and neatly. So I'm going to use it for the purpose of this tutorial. So moving on to the options on the left, this top text box will currently show you what the example will be. Entering text here will help you visualize what the buyer will see for their end result. For example, I'm going to enter in a name, Adam. And you can clearly see that it started filling in that on the design. This will act as the default text on your product page when a customer goes onto your page and looks at the design. This label box is the name of the text entry field shown to the customer on the product page. For example, you can type type here or insert your message, first name, surname, date, etc. This is effectively where the customer will be prompted to enter that particular information into that text entry box. The placeholder box is the pre-entered text that is in the box as an example of what the customer can enter. For example, over on our product page here, 
the placeholder text for this box says type here. We can go ahead and put type here again. Clicking the font drop down will allow you to configure the various different fonts for this box. Clicking the style will allow you to change the weight. So we can go for a, a bold or a thin style of font. The size will change the font size. And the alignment will change the alignment of the text within the box. And then finally, we have the color. You can obviously configure the color as you see fit, but there's also a handy little eyedropper tool if you wish to configure your color specifically to your artwork. Dragging the text field onto your artwork again will create a new text field entry box with its own set of configurable options, just like the first. These two boxes are now configured independently of one another and can have separate settings. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out as an example. While you are configuring this option, the option for the previous text field will collapse and be hidden. If you want to go back and edit the options for the previous text fields that you were editing, simply click on them and they will expand and the other options will collapse. It's possible to rearrange the layer order of each of your text entry fields. For example, here we can see that the first text entry field with the name Adam is displayed on top of the one underneath, which says Dave. If you click this little button and drag here, you can switch them around so that the one on top is now Dave and the one on top and the one underneath is now Adam. This can be useful in some circumstances if you want to stack up options and stack up things to make a visually appealing design. The layers on top of the list will always display above the layers underneath them on the list. When you're happy with how your design looks and the text entry fields, you can go ahead and you can continue to publish your product and create it like normal. If you have published a product with personalization, it is possible to go in and amend the person personalization options. However, you need to be quick because this will only apply before any orders are received for the product. And once an order is received, the personalization options will be locked in and you will not be able to change them further. If you want to go ahead and amend the options after you have published a product, all you need to do is locate the product inside your list of products go ahead and access it. And then there will be an additional option inside the product editor called personalization. Clicking personalize will allow you to change the settings. And guys, that is everything you need to know about using the product personalizations feature. I hope this video has been super useful and I'll see you all again very soon.